Well, you know, enduring value is that uh, uh, you realize that, um, uh, that excellence is the way forward. Uh, you have to embrace excellence. You compete with the best in the world. And uh, you realize that there is no substitute for hard work. Work environment in New York is, is, is entirely different. I was in fact doing corporate work there. I was in the banking sector. Um, uh, but even the court work there is entirely different. A lot of time is spent uh, on, um, on uh, examination and discovery uh, before the actual trial. And the nature of the legal system is such that by the time the clients go through examination before trial, uh, the bill has risen to over uh, two, you know, uh, two, three hundred thousand dollars. That the client realizes that it is better to settle than to go to a court of law. Okay, that of course is entirely different here because there is no process of examination before trial in India. Um, so the the systems are entirely different. The U.S. system is based on a legal brief. Uh, the Indian system is more like uh, more akin to the British system, where where you argue matters in court. Each has its own. It's, its own uh, benefits and, and drawbacks. But of course, I would go with the Indian system. What makes lawyers politicians, I think, is the, is the, is the fact that as a legal community, you are far more converse, conversant with the functioning of the state than perhaps any other. Effect. In medicine, the doctor is converse, conversant with the functioning of the human body. Uh, you know, uh, a chartered accountant is conversant with the functioning of, of businesses, uh, you know, um, especially big businesses. But a lawyer is conversant with the functioning of the state. So he understands how the state functions and how the community functions. So therefore, he is entirely familiar with issues that politicians deal with and therefore has an insight into those issues because of experience uh, much more than any other person who joins uh, politics. I would say that uh, you know it's good to have experiences around the world because every time you have a new experience you you in a sense become uh, richer uh, and if your mind is enriched uh, you become a better person so it's always good to go out but ultimately it's India uh, uh, whose future uh, you have to be part of.